This tutorial will demonstrate document curation with CleanLab Studio. Curating documents is critical for Gen AI applications like Retrieval Augmented Generation. For instance, to build an LLM-powered system that can answer employee questions by referencing documents across a company, or product onboarding questions by referencing their product documentation. Documents in companies can be highly heterogeneous and some are too messy to be useful for Gen AI. Document creation involves categorizing documents for better organization, as well as tagging which documents are inappropriate for use in Gen AI applications, either because they are too messy, don't contain useful information, or contain sensitive or private information. This is a painstaking process that takes a lot of work, but now you can mostly automate it with CleanLab Studio. Let's see how. Here's what our documents might look like. They also span many file types like PDF, Microsoft Word, and PowerPoint. Given such a dataset, we want to categorize the documents based on their topic. In this demo application, there are five options, sales, product, IT, HR, and finance. We also want to tag each document as good or bad to use in generative AI applications like RAG. With CleanLab Studio, this data labeling task can be heavily automated via CleanLab's data-centric AI system. Novel data quality algorithms auto-detect incorrectly chosen labels for us to correct them and accurately categorize our documents. We start by manually labeling five examples of each document category or class. This few minutes of work will suffice to generate automated label predictions for the remainder of our documents. To ingest our collection of documents into CleanUp Studio, we will need a folder with all of the documents and an associated metadata CSV file that contains the path to the documents and the associated metadata, in this case, topic and quality labels. Notice how many of the documents, topic, and quality labels are empty. CleanLab Studio only requires five data points of each document type to be labeled. All that's left to do is zip these two items together and ingest them using the API. Loading data is done in just a few lines of code. CleanLab Studio automatically extracts the text from each document during ingestion and represents each document as a text example. Now that our documents are loaded, in just a few clicks, we can create a project to kick off CleanLab's automated AI model training. Once the project is finished running, we could begin the data curation process by selecting Ready for Review. Because most of this data set is unlabeled, CleanLab Studio starts us off in an automated data labeling workflow. To optimize for both time spent labeling and the accuracy of the automated suggestions, we will use an AI plus human in the loop process that will leverage minimal manual labeling on our part together with CleanLab Studio auto suggested labels. Here, CleanLab Studio has automatically provided suggested categories for all of our documents, but we don't expect all AI suggestions to be accurate as there are very few documents per category for CleanLab Studio to learn from. Luckily, CleanLab provides a confidence score to gauge the reliability of each suggestion. To begin labeling our documents without introducing too many errors from incorrect suggestions, we will use a two-step process. First, we will auto-label just a few documents with the highest confidence score, let's say 10. Select auto-label at the top to apply the CleanLab suggested category to the first 10 documents. Next, CleanLab will identify lower confidence documents for us to provide additional supervision. We can manually label a few more of these by hand, let's say 10 more, to guide the AI system. You have the freedom to do more or less work, depending on how much time you'd like to invest versus the accuracy of document categorization you need. Now that we have more documents categorized, we will rerun the project to kickstart another round of AI model training with the newly labeled data. This will produce significantly better auto-label suggestions next time around. Now, our project view switches to help us efficiently review the least trustworthy document labels and auto-label more. To continue leveraging the automated label suggestions, Let's quickly visually inspect the top 20 unlabeled documents and see if the suggested labels are sufficiently accurate. It appears that they are. In just a few clicks, we can use the Clean Top K button to auto-label the top 20 examples with the suggested label. Even though we are only fixing 20 labels at a time, remember that this is a small toy dataset for demonstration purposes. Single users have annotated millions of documents using this same workflow, saving hundreds of hours of work. Now that we have 20 more labeled documents for CleanLab Studio to learn from. Let's click the Improve Results button to retrain CleanLab's AI one more time, incorporating these newly labeled examples. We can repeat this hybrid human-in-the-loop labeling process until all of our documents are categorized. Each round, we can determine how many documents to auto-label based on the confidence scores. By inspecting at which confidence score range do the auto-label suggestions start to become less reliable. 
Depending on your use case, you can decide the balance between auto-labeling and manual labeling to achieve the desired level of document category accuracy. Once all of our documents are labeled, we can use the Label Issues preset to see documents that may have been mislabeled along the way. CleanLab's unique data-centric AI automatically identifies potentially mislabeled data for your review. You can quickly correct this data via the resolver. That's all it took to categorize our collection of documents. While this demo showed a small example data set, single users have used CleanLab Studio's auto-labeling capabilities to categorize millions of documents by themselves. We can repeat the previous workflow to tag each document as being good or bad for generative AI applications, such as whether it should be retrievable during RAG or not. Additionally, CleanLab's data-centric AI will automatically detect many other types of issues beyond mislabeling in our dataset, like duplicates, outliers, PAI, toxic language, and informally written text. Select outliers to see documents that might need to be excluded. Open the resolver, verify the document should be excluded, and select Exclude. Select new duplicates to see documents that are nearly or exact duplicates. Here is an example of two of the same documents, one of which is outdated. Simply select Exclude to remove the outdated document. The same applies for text-specific issues like PII, Informal, Non-English, and Toxic Text. Using all of this helpful information, we can choose to delete such low-quality documents from our dataset or label them accordingly. Finally, we can export the metadata file that determines how our collection of documents should be organized. Here, we have successfully categorized all of our documents with both their topic and usability in GenAI. CleanLab Studio also provides many columns of smart metadata that you can use for modeling and analytics. This particular example is a CSV file, although many other formats are supported. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and learned how CleanApp Studio can save your team time and money curating documents for LLM applications.